Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Now, we're going to read Romans chapter, <laughs> chilly, Romans chapter 12, starting at verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Mm, 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 that is rich. Okay, now, Pat's two cents. I want you to hear this. You know, a lot of times we get a little... Uh, beside ourselves and thinking, okay, I'm a born-again Christian and I got it going on and oh my goodness. And life, you know, we march through life and, and we're just happy as a lark. But then life starts to happen, doesn't it? Yeah. Stuff starts hitting that fan, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, okay. And life starts presenting little minor annoyances and inconveniences and loop uh, just all kind of traps and pit holes and all of that well what God is trying to share with us is when we are going through whatever we go through in this life when we present our bodies Lord this is yours a living sacrifice listen to this this is Pat's two cents now, a living sacrifice. In the old days, they would come and, you know, they bring their best and they put it before the Lord and offer it up to God and all of that. And they would burn it on the fire. Well, us presenting our bodies a living sacrifice means we are to burn this crap up on the altar. Burn your flesh. Kill your flesh. Huh? In other words, when my flesh rears up in me because you got on my nerves and Mama Sita's mind says, cuss them out. I got five, four letter, four letter and five letter words just for them. Your the spirit man, the God in you will say, no, I burn that desire. I extinguished, I get rid of it. No, I will handle this God's way, even if it kills my heart to do so. You have to obey many times until it hurts. Have you ever been humiliated by someone? I'm making examples just so you can get what I mean. Have you ever been humiliated by someone or lied on or been mocked in public and other people are laughing at you and you're standing there knowing, knowing you can rear back and boop, knock them sailing. You can knock them into kingdom come. You can knock them flat on their can. You could come up with all kind of dirt on them and tell their business and say, okay, you want to open up that can of worms? Come on, baby. I got something for you. Let me tell you what you did last year, who you did it to, and I got proof. Everybody want to hear their business? I got some stuff on you too, baby. But no, you burn. Put that baby and knock the mashes to the curb and you say, hey, God would not want me to retaliate. God would not want me to be vengeful and spiteful. So, I must maintain my cool if all I can do is walk away. To everyone else, I may look like my tail's tucked between my legs. But to God, I'm walking away victorious, triumphant, because 
I handled myself. And I gave all my rights and sacrificed my rights to God. When he said, vengeance is mine, I will repay, then that means I can't pay for my own vengeance. I've got to leave it in God's hands. And when I'm leaving my rights and my, my ways, my fleshly ways, the old man that knows how to cuss somebody out up one, one end down the other, who knows how to kick somebody's tail, who knows how to make somebody look smaller than a roach with my tongue. I present my body a living sacrifice and I choose not to do it. It hurts, oh, because I want to do it. You don't know how bad I want to tell you off. But for God's sake, I will sacrifice my right to do so and I'll shut my mouth guard my tongue and walk away. And what do people see when I walk away? Some may see something to laugh at, but many will see that's a holy person. They really live for God. When you're acceptable unto God, that's the least you can do. That's what it is. Which is your reasonable service? It's only reasonable for you to be acceptable to God. Not man. Not your pride. God. You answer to a higher calling, you guys. And we are not our own. We are bought with a price. So let's walk worthy of the sacrifice that Jesus made and sacrifice ourselves to God on a daily basis. God bless you.